the money formula, dodgy finance, pseudoscience, and how mathematicians took over the markets, by Paul Wilmot and David Orell, is an expose on the complex mathematical models that have come to dominate the finance industry. This book tells the story of how mathematics, originally seen as a tool to aid in financial decision-making, evolved into a driving force that at times has destabilized the entire economic system. The book is a critique of the misuse and misunderstanding of mathematical models within finance, and it also dissects the role of mathematicians, known as quants, in the rise of these models. The book starts by exploring the historical background of mathematical finance, illustrating how finance evolved from a practice based on intuition and rule-of-thumb methods to one increasingly reliant on complex mathematical formulas. One milestone in this evolution was the introduction of the black Scholes model in 1973, which revolutionized the pricing of options. The model was built on assumptions that weren't always reflective of real-world markets, such as the idea that the prices of financial assets follow a log-normal distribution and that markets are always continuous and frictionless. Wilmot and Orell argue that while the black Scholes model and others like it had their merits, they were not applied with the caution they required. The financial industry, hungry for precise models that seemed to mitigate risk, adopted these formulas wholesale and often ignored their limitations. The authors emphasize that one of the main problems with mathematical models in finance is that they are built upon idealized assumptions that can be dramatically far removed from reality. The authors paint a critical picture of risk models, especially value at risk, VAR, which endeavored to provide a single number to represent the risk of a complete portfolio. VR was designed to measure the worst expected loss under normal market conditions over a specific period at a given confidence level. However, as the authors point out, the normality of market conditions is precisely what cannot be guaranteed and extremes can occur more frequently than models suggest. The 2008 financial crisis, for example, was a flagrant demonstration of the flaws in these models when markets experienced events that were supposed to be virtually impossible according to the mathematical predictions. The money formula delves into the culture within banks and financial institutions that contributed to this blind reliance on mathematical models. It describes a divide between the quants, who understand the mathematics but not always the markets, and the traders, who understand the markets but not always the mathematics. This disconnect resulted in a financial system with a shaky foundation, as those applying the models did not fully grasp their limitations, and warnings from more skeptical experts were frequently ignored. Furthermore, the book explores how the quest for mathematical perfection in finance led to the proliferation of complex financial instruments like derivatives. These products, linked to the performance of other assets, were theoretically sound in moderating risk. In practice, however, they often obfuscated the true risk being shouldered by investors and institutions. The authors used the collapse of long-term capital management, LTCM, in the late 1990s as a case study to illustrate these points. LTCM, run by Nobel laureates and other renowned financial experts, failed spectacularly when their highly leveraged, model-based strategies faltered in the face of unforeseen market behavior. Wilmot and Orell also explore how regulatory frameworks and standardizing bodies have at times unwittingly perpetuated the issues within the financial system. They critique the Basel Accords, international regulatory banking standards meant to strengthen the regulation, supervision, and risk management in the banking sector. The authors suggest that these well-intentioned regulations, by promoting certain risk models, have contributed to systemic risk, the risk that the failure of one entity or a cluster of entities could bring down the entire financial system. The money formula questions the ethical considerations surrounding high-frequency trading, HFT, an arena where mathematical models play a crucial role. HFT firms use algorithms to execute trades at speeds incomprehensible to human traders, often benefiting from tiny, short-lived market inefficiencies. While these firms argue that they provide liquidity to the markets, the authors raise concerns about the fairness and stability these practices promote, 
as they give a significant advantage to those with the faster systems and algorithms. The book also remarks on the psychological and behavioral aspects of financial markets, which are notoriously difficult to quantify and often ignored by mathematical models. Behavioral economists and finance professionals argue that investor psychology plays an important role in financial decision-making and therefore in market movements, something that the cold precision of mathematical models consistently overlooks. In discussing the problems associated with mathematical models in finance, Wilmot and Orell do not dismiss their potential benefits entirely. Instead, they call for a more nuanced and informed use of these models, with an understanding of their limitations and the unpredictable nature of financial markets. They suggest that mathematical models should be viewed as tools to aid decision-making rather than as infallible predictors. The authors advocate for greater transparency in the financial system, better education for all parties involved, and the development of more robust ethical standards for the use of mathematical finance. In conclusion, the money formula offers a broad critique of the role played by advanced mathematics in finance, particularly in relation to financial crises and systemic instability. It serves as a call to action for the finance industry to reevaluate its over-reliance on models that can often misrepresent reality, and to find a balance between mathematical rigor and the inherently unpredictable nature of markets. Wilmot and Orell's work is both a warning and a guide for the future, encouraging readers to approach financial models with a critical eye and to remember that mathematics, no matter how sophisticated, cannot eliminate the uncertainty and risk that are fundamental parts of financial markets. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.